Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm um, sorry I've not been posting, but we've just been really busy lately. So, um, this is Jojo. Want to say hi? Say hi. So in today's video, um, I'm going to be showing you how to groom your horse and the things that you will need to groom your horse. So, um, Beauty, I don't know if I've introduced her on here or not. She is um, coming down right now, but she I just called her down. I hear you. I don't know if you guys can hear her, but she just, boom. She just neighed. She's saying hello. What's she doing? So I got to get her, and um, I guess I would show you guys. So she's coming. I don't know if you guys can see. What's she doing? Yeah? Is that what you're doing? She's saying, I'm eating grass and you called me down. And you disturbed me. She thinks that there's food in the bucket. <laughs> Is that what you're thinking? Is that what you're thinking? So I'm going to go get the lead rope to get her. And Josie usually goes in with me when I go, so... I'm going to go get the lead up. I just want to call her down. Now I'm going to check her water. Her water's kind of nasty. I'll probably need to dump it. Won't I? When I need to dump it. When I need to. So I'm going to go get her stuff and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so I got her and she's standing here. Just kind of trying to stay a little cool. We're kind of up under the garage thing, but not completely. Um, also trying to stay where y'all can see her so it um horses eyes it takes about 15 minutes for their eyes to adjust from light to dark so um she just walked inside this kind of like dark basement um it's not really dark but you know to them it is so i'm gonna scoot you guys back here you go um also she may have been afraid of the laptop i don't really know um what is that so this is Beauty, you guys, and Beauty here. Um, I got her for my 11th birthday. Um, I'm 14 now, so she has been with us for 14 years, or not 14, oh my gosh, 14 years, for four years now. Um, and she has the same birthday as me, April 6th. We rescued her from Horse Plus Humane Society. Um, you might wanna go check them out. They have lots of horses that always need help. But, um, yeah, so today we're going to groom her because she's not really too dirty, but, um, she's dusty and hasn't been groomed, um, since it's been a week now. I mean, it's very important that you at least, um, sorry, it's important that you at least groom your horse once a week to keep them pretty clean and maintained. What is that quivery lip for? So since she did so good for me um, to go get her, um, she does always really good, but I always give her a treat when she gets in here. She loves food more than anything, um, for sure. So I'm going to go get her a treat, and I'm just kind of tying her up to the back of this, and she can just kind of hang out here. So let me go get that treat, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I always feed... Um, treats and grain um, out of a bucket um, because if you feed them from the hand it could teach your horse to bite um, so I do recommend always using a bucket even if you're giving them one treat so I have this blue bucket here and she'll probably put her head down because so I'm going to show you guys how much she loves treats but you got to give me a minute because i got to get it so I give her these she's not really that fat but it's just healthier so she already knows what's coming that she's about to get a treat um food is her favorite so they come in like really tiny little cubes so I'm gonna give her two and she just eats them right out the bucket no yeah So she's checking, make sure there's nothing else in there. I'm gonna give her a couple more. Oh, 
You guys can see, loves them. So that should keep her occupied for a little while. You guys can see, she loves her treats. Treats are her favorite. Um, so now she's probably going to want these. So what I do is I just kind of keep them farther away from her. Um, not too far, but, you know. So I let her know she does good. So I've been trying to teach her some tricks. I've been watching equine helper. Some of you horse people may watch her. Um, but I absolutely love her. And I've been trying to do some tricks with her. So today I just thought I'd change the schedule up and just do a few other different things because you never want to have your horse do the same thing over and over. And so, yeah, so let's get started. Alright, uh, sorry about that guys, the dog was barking, so I was just checking to see what was out there, so I was pulling up or anything, but um, let's get started, you wanna get started, yeah, so she loves to lick my hand, I'm not sure why, <laughs> so first up, we have my grim box, you're gonna wanna keep your grim box near to you, so the first thing that you're gonna want to get is your curry comb I have a couple of different kinds but sh her favorite to break up the dust and the dirt is this one I'll have to grab so by the end of box. it's this one and it's honestly perfect for what I need um, and it breaks up the dirt really well so you're just going to kind of start at the neck and you're going to want to go in circles come on over here come on I know. Right there. So you're going to want to go in circles just like this. Some people go like the other way and whatever way you want is completely fine. But you're going to do this and break up all the dust and dirt. And the horses love to be groomed too because um, it gets off all the dead hair and skin and stuff. Um, so I have to flip her mane to the other side. <laughs> what are you doing? So she's kind of curious at what the dog's barking at. Um, she knows that our dog is our protector around here. So she's like, I have y'all guys set up on our four wheeler on the little one. So it's kind of like she's sniffing that one out. <sighs> she may smell neighbor's cats or something like that I don't know but I'm just going in circles breaking up all the dust and dirt um, off of her and also old hair you know hair that comes off will prevent less hair from getting on you so once um, I've done this side I just can go over to the other side so never duck up under your horse, nothing like that. You want to go in front of them or behind them if you're comfortable with going behind them. So I am comfortable with going behind her because I've had her for so long and I know that she won't kick me. So you're just going to put your hand on the back of their butt so you will not get kicked. And I'm going to go around to the other side. So now I'm on this side and I pat her and let her know, good job. Um, and she always turns her head to look at me like, what are you doing, woman? Um, and then I'm just going to, you're going to do the same thing on the other side. You're going to groom and just go in circles. Break up. If your horse is really sensitive, I would not suggest these gel brushes. I would suggest more of a, um, maybe even a net. Um, I know I go, uh, I've been to places and I've used a net. Um, for their sensitive horses um, it's just lighter on their skin but personally for her this one is the one and also when grooming your horse it's always what I like to do is I like to examine her make sure she has no cuts bruises anything like that and that she's safe um, so she's just sniffing me out she does this I don't know why she does it, but she always looks at me when I'm grooming. Um, but anyway, she, um, I would just suggest 
looking over your horse, making sure they look good. So she looks really scruggly right now. I'll have to show you guys in a minute. She looks terrible because her fur has all been moved now. And I just, you still want to be gentle, even if your horse is okay. Sometimes it's also real cool to, um, she's just checking out what I'm doing and I'm not sure why she does this. Um, but this is my horse. <laughs> I should know why right now, but I don't. So she has all these lines now on her. But these brushes are awesome. They even get all the hair and stuff off and you can just pull it out after. Okay, once you've loosened up all the dirt and stuff, you're gonna wanna get your hard brush. I'm going to make her back up so I can back. Good girl. Oh. So she did what I asked. I need you to. Thank you. And after I would just kind of brush off your brush. Get some of the dirt and hair out. Just knock it on whatever you can. Um. So. Now you're going to need your hard brush. So I have my hard brush. And I'm going to do this, and then I'll be right back. So I almost forgot I have to show you how to use the hard brush. So for the hard brush, you're just going to take it and basically flick it back. You're going to flicking off that dirt. You're just kind of going like, like that. And you're just flicking it off. Um, and that just gets all the dirt and hair and stuff that you just groomed off. Now, I am going to hose her down today because it's really hot and she's sticky. I just wanted to get some of the dirt and stuff off, even if she um, rolls again, so that's okay. Um, so she's really calm right now, and she's doing really good, so I'll give her a treat. It's okay sometimes to give a treat with your hand, but most of the times I would suggest the bucket. So I'm giving her a treat real quick. That way. Thank you. So, she's pretty crazy. But, I'm going to be right back so that this video isn't longer than what it has to be. And, um, I will be back in a minute. Alright, so next, she's done with that. But next, we have a soft brush. It's softer. Sorry if the lighting's really bad. I'm just trying to keep her kind of cool. She is like kind of sweaty down right over on her back um which is why I'm gonna hold her off even though I just groomed her it's just to keep her pretty clean um so the soft brush helps keep their fur really what's it called silky like smooth looking I don't really know how to explain it um but this is the soft brush and all you're gonna do is the same thing that you did with the um, hard brush except you're not gonna flick really hard you're just gonna go over their fur um, and then I'm going down on her legs to brush off her legs and keep the dust off those some people don't realize it is important that you have to do that too um, so you just kind of run this one over pretty quickly um, always be careful when you do this your horse may not be like mine and is okay with you rubbing there whatever you want to call it. I don't even know so I'm just going over her her neck her fur and I'm getting all of what I can off You can get the so the soft brush you can rub anything with. Um, mine's kind of spiky, so she does get a little jumpy sometimes, which is why I try to be pretty soft with it. She's really sweaty over here on this section. Yeah. Oh, was that itchy? Oh. Oh yeah. She likes that. That's itchy right there. I right hit the withers. So she is swaying. 
Ooh. Yeah, she likes that. Oh yeah. So she likes that right there, you guys. She's really liking it at the withers. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right, right there. I know we're kind of close, but she's liking it like right here. Oh yeah. <laughs> she's loving it. She's just kind of swaying. Oh yeah. So, um, I did examine her. She's looking good. No scrapes, no marks, no cuts, which is good. We don't want none of that. So, um, now that we're done with the soft brush, you're going to want to get the, um, in, you should have one of these, all horse owners. All right, back. Um, it's important that you also have a face brush. Um, so Beauty Tech does not really like her face to be brushed um, at all. She's actually doing pretty good right now. Um, she doesn't really like me to do this. But I'm just brushing back behind her ears. Now she hates her ears to be touched, so I try not to do it too much. You guys can see she's like putting her head to the side. She hates it. All right. So it is important that you do keep their face brushed too. Keep the hairs down. Now she also hates this part of her nose to be touched, but it's okay. I still have to get it. And this is a very, very soft brush, so but she just hates it. And I'm just gonna go back over her neck. So now we gotta get, so you gotta kind of move the halter out of the way, get behind the ears. I also gotta kind of take the hair. She hates her face to be touched. I don't know why, but she does. This also just helps get the hair off. Well, it's not too bad. It's just not too good either. There you go. So rub. I'm just you know wipe off my brush once you're done doing that um this is you don't do this like every week when you um groom them but you do take this brush and you're going to do the hair so i'm going to work on her mane it's pretty tangled up right now so i'm going to be back when i'm done doing that okay so now i've done, done i've done her mane now you also want to get right here just be very careful some horses don't like it so i'm just going very gentle and then I kind of just fix it. Um, I did have to use some detangling um, spray. So now I'm going to do her tail and I'll be right back. Alright, so I did her tail. I'm just feeding her treats. It took me, honestly, it took me a, a very long time to do that. Um, it was very tangly knotted. Um, her mane was really easy. It didn't take me no time. So now I'm just giving her a little treat. Um, don't forget when you do... Um, do their tail or um, grooming in the back at all. Just be careful. Um, if you know your horse, then you're safe. Um, so just always stand right here to the side when you do their tail. Um, if you're comfortable with it and you know your horse, you can stand behind them. For her, I do trust her, so it's okay. I would stand behind her. But if you are just now getting to know your horse um you know grooming might be one of the first things you'd want to do with them um to bond with them and just stand beside just in case until you're more comfortable with it um again she hates her face being touched unless she's tired what's that lip curl of war? come here let me fix that thank you so don't forget, here's one of the last things that I do. I like to pick out her hoof. Um, so I gotta find it first because I had a bunch of stuff out, so I do gotta reorganize it. So I'll be right back. Okay guys, I couldn't find the hoof pick, but I do have to look for it here in a little bit. It's probably somewhere in all this stuff. But um, uh, that's grooming your horse and I hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.